Hi, this is Daryl Nicholson reporting for Practical Sailor Magazine. I'm aboard the Dolphin 460 Catabell, and this afternoon we're going to be testing a new man overboard recovery device called the Sea Scoopa. The Sea Scoopa is based on an age old lifting device known as a par buckle. But what makes it unique is its compact size. While it's big enough to lift a man over the rail of a sailboat, it fits in a bag that is easy to stow and carry. With practice, we found that installing the sea scoopa for a man overboard recovery will take at least three minutes for one person, much longer at night or in a heavy sea. Two corners of the triangular par buckle attached to stanchions or fixed points on deck. The third corner connects to a halyard or topping lift. A collapsible carbon fiber jockey pole holds the sea scoopa at right angles to the hull. On a short-handed boat, you'll want to have the sea scoopa stowed on the rail and ready to deploy. Even when the sea scoopa was pre-attached to the test boat's stanchions, it took us a little over a minute to deploy it. Both the topping lift and the fore guy should be pre-marked during the practice trials so that you know exactly where to set them. The leading edge or luff of the sea scoopa is weighted with lead cord rope so that it sinks. During recovery, the boat is maneuvered toward the victim at about one to two knots. Even in ideal conditions, making contact with the victim is a very difficult maneuver. The engine, of course, needs to be out of gear when the victim is alongside. Once the victim is secure in the par buckle, he can be rolled onto the deck by slowly hauling on the topping lift. Getting a person under the lifelines can be tricky, so having a way to release the lower lifeline is helpful. For more information regarding the Sea Scoopa, you can go to www.seascoopa.com. For our full report on the Sea Scoopa in the May 2010 issue of Practical Sailor, go to www.practicalsailor.com. Dot com.